Unit 2 AI Project Cycle The subunits are Problem Scoping, Data Acquisition, Data Exploration and Modeling and in this video we will be studying the third subunit that is Data Exploration. First of all let us understand what is Data Exploration. So this is the third stage in AI project cycle. The first stage problem scoping and the second stage data acquisition we have already covered in the previous videos. So now in the previous stage we have collected the data which according to us is authentic, accurate and relevant. So the data collection was done to make sure that only the correct data is collected by focusing on the project goal. Now, in this stage, we need to understand why we want to explore the data before training the AI model. The data collected is observed carefully first. When we get set of data in our hands, we should spend time to explore that the sets of data are following a trend or not. Maybe there are relationships and patterns present in the data. It will also help us better decide on which model or models we need to work in the subsequent AI project cycle stage. We can visualize our data using any method so that it becomes easy to figure out the information quickly and later we can communicate that understanding to others. So data exploration refers to a process of understanding the nature of the data we have to work with in terms of quality, characteristics, etc. This step provides us with a better understanding of data resulting in an effective end product. We need to explore and visualize data before jumping into the AI model. And data exploration can be done with the help of data visualization. So let us now understand what is data visualization. Data visualization is basically the discipline of trying to understand data by placing it in a visual context so that patterns, trends and correlations that might not otherwise be detected can be exposed. Data visualization is the presentation of data in graphical format. It helps people understand the significance of data by summarizing and presenting huge amount of data in a simple and easy to understand format and helps communicate information clearly and effectively. Now let us understand why do we need data exploration and visualization. Now when we pick up a library book, we tend to look at the book cover, read the back cover and skim through the content of the book prior to choosing it as it helps us understand if this book is appropriate for our needs and interests. Similarly, when we get a data set in our hands, spending time to explore it will help us get a sense of the trends, relationships and patterns present in the data. It will also help us better decide which model or models to use in the subsequent AI project cycle. We use data visualization as a method because it is much easier to comprehend information quickly and communicate the story to others. Let us understand some data visualization tools. Microsoft Excel. Microsoft Excel provides a variety of graphs and smart objects for data visualization but it is limited by the fact that it requires structured data for working. These tools will not work with big data. Tableau. This software is regarded as the grandmaster of data visualization. It has a customer base of nearly 60,000 accounts on the last count. This is simple to use and can create interactive visualization which is unmatched by its rivals. It is capable of handling enormous frequently updated datasets. Click View This is the second major player in the data visualization market. It boasts of more than 40,000 customers in more than 100 countries of the world. ClickView is known for its capability of customization and extensive features. Fusion Charts This is a charting and data visualization software which uses JavaScript. 
it is capable of producing nearly 100 different types of charts data wrapper this is one of the favorites of the media industry its strength lies in its ability to use csv data for creating charts and maps microsoft power bi Power BI is a data visualization tool offered by Microsoft. It has a free version that can be downloaded and used by anyone. Google Data Studio. This is a data visualization tool offered by Google and part of the Google marketing platform. So now let us understand how we can visualize data using one of the tools that we just saw in the previous slide. So we will be seeing that how to visualize data using Tableau. So here step one is data curation. The first step in visualization of data is data curation or preparation of data. This step is often included in the data acquisition phase. A high percentage of scientists efforts are spent in making the data ready for further preparation. Many modern graphic tools allow users to load unprepared data for further processing in the tool itself. So no matter whatever data visualization we tools, these are the major steps that will be followed while visualizing the data. So the second step is connecting data. The modern data visualization tools allow the users to use data from multiple sources. They also allow users to connect real-time data sources and formats. Some of the common formats for data connections include text files, Excel files, database files, database objects, XML files, etc. Next step is selecting relevant elements. The selected data might contain a lot of data on different elements. Many of these elements and the related data might not be relevant for the problem or the issue of concern. For this, the users have to select the data elements which are relevant for them. The relevant data depends on the goals and objectives of the project. The next and the last step is creating visualization. The final step in the data visualization requires actual visualization of data using the graphic tools. So now let us see practically how we can work on this Tableau tool. So to download Tableau, you can click on this link or simply you can just type Tableau public in Google and then this download the app link. We have to click on this link. Then we have to enter our mail ID over here and then click on download the app and wait for the download to start. Now the window will open and you can click on save. So the setup will be saved in your computer system in whatever folder you select I have already downloaded the setup so I'll just click on cancel and now we are going to install this so just right click on this and click on open then click on run in this window you have to tick on this and don't send any product uses data and then click on install and wait for the progress bar to be completely filled the window will automatically close as the installation is done. Now after the installation is done, the shortcut will be created on your desktop. You can just go to your desktop, right click and open. So the application will start opening. So this is the first interface of Tableau Public that you will see when you open the software. Now in order to perform data visualization, we need data set also. So for data set, we will use a publicly available data set on the website of All India Survey on Higher Education. So let us visit the website. And here we are going to select the directory of institutions and here we will be selecting the college now all states all districts all universities and all college type and here the data we want in the excel file then we click on search now this pop-up window will appear and we have to click on save to save this data set so now this is saved 
I will open the folder where this data is present. Now if I just open this, so this is the data that we have downloaded from the website and now we will work on this data, explore it and visualize it. The first step in data visualization is data curation or preparing the data. So now let us prepare the data. So data preparation, we will just remove the unnecessary rows that are not required. If you see row 1 and row 2, they are just providing us with the name of the data set. So we don't need this in data visualization. So we can just delete. Now if we come to the last row, then it is just providing us the time or date when the file was generated. So that also we can delete because it is also not required in data visualization. Now once the data is prepared, we will just save this and we will just close it. Second step is connecting data. So now the data that we have downloaded, we are going to connect it with the data visualization tool. We have to connect this tabulo public to the data. So now these data formats are allowed. So because we have downloaded the data in Microsoft Excel format, so we'll just click on Microsoft Excel and we are going to choose the Excel file that we have curated right now and click on open. It will take some time to establish the connection and after that the Excel file will be opened in this Tableau public. Now the Excel file that we have curated is now connected to this data visualization tool. Click on this college directory arrow over here and make sure that field names are in first row is ticked so that whatever field names are there in the table, they always come in the first row. The step number three in data visualization is selecting relevant elements. So now after connecting the database to the tabulo public, we have to click on this sheet one at the bottom left corner of the screen for selecting the relevant elements. These you will find the tables or dimensions. Dimensions are elements and measures below the line. These are the measures of these elements. Now we can drag the dimensions to measure for measuring something. So we will just drag the college type. This is the dimension or table name. We are just going to drag it and bring it to the measures section over here. So we have dragged this college type from dimensions to measure for creating a measure of the college type. Now we will use two elements for this example, state and count of college types. Now just drag this state dimension from here into the column field over here and we will drag the college type from measures and drop it over here in the rows. Now as soon as this is done, we have reached the step number four that is the final step in data visualization and here you can see that state wise we are able to see the number of college in each state. So this is how we have visualized the data. Now let us look at some of the activities or worksheets related to data exploration. First is based on data visualization catalog. So suppose you are working as a computer teacher in a school. You have been assigned a task by the school management to conduct examination of all classes online. A software company is hired by the school management for developing an ERP software for examinations. Now it is your responsibility to give all the necessary data that you want in the examination module. Collect information and write what kind of data will be required for a given task. After collecting the data, select an appropriate graphical format to represent the data acquired by you so that it will be a user friendly and effective. So data visualization catalog is a handy guide and library of different data visualization techniques, tools and a learning resource for data visualization. So what are the basic requirements? You just need a computing device like PC or laptop and internet connection. You just have to visit this website datawizcatalog.com. So let us visit this website. 
now once you have reached this website you can see various types of graphical representations on this website like arc diagram area graph chord diagram circle packing bar chart box and whisker plot etc and if you click on any one of the chart then you will find that how this chart will look like you will find the description you will find the anatomy of this chart and you will also find a video to guide you about this chart so now what you have to do in this activity you have to go through all the types of graphs that are present and you just have to click on the icons you have to look at the various new ways of data visualization and you have to identify the ones which interest you the most so you have to write down at least 5 new data visualization techniques in this table then you have to write the name of the graphical representation just one line about that graphical representation which type of data is it suitable for and how to draw it the next activity is based on graph so now once you have explored various types of graphs and you have already chosen the best ones to plot your data features so you just have to draw them out now now in this you have to look into your problem the problem statement that is given in question 1 you can take that problem or the problem that you might have taken in the ai scoping that problem you can take then what you have to do is the graph you have to relate to the goal of your ai project so whatever goal you have chosen in the problem scoping activity so for that goal now what you have to do is you have to draw the concerned graph on a chart paper or you can draw in your notebook and you have to list down the following points also on the chart paper you have to list down which data feature or features you have used in the graph why you have chosen this particular graph to depict your data features and then you have to list down the trends observed in your representation so there is one example that is given to help you with this activity so for example if your problem statement is that how can we predict whether a song will make it to the top 10 in a famous countdown so for this what will be the data features that would be required like current data trends of music genre style duration of song popularity of the movie or singer etc now you have to analyze a pattern so for that we can say that let's say the popularity of a singer will have a direct bearing on the output of the system so we are going to plot a graph showing the popularity of various singers and the one who is the most popular and has the maximum chance of getting to the billboard so in this way the graphical representation helps us understand the trends and patterns from the data collected and to design a strategy around them for achieving the goal of the project website is just a catalog where you can find the various types of graphs that you can draw now you have to go through all the graphs carefully the description and based on the description now you have to decide whatever your problem statement is so which type of graph will be most suitable to represent your problem statement data features the next activity is based on visualization data for this you have to use the tableau tool that we have done right now so for this again you have to go to the same website the website of all india survey on higher education this is the website of ministry of human resource development and then here you have to download the data set for all the stand alone institutions in india or you may use any other data set that you want you can also use the data set from your school like mark sheet of students attendance record etc then you have to use the different visualization graphics in the tableau public and select the relevant elements and the graphic formats for your graph so this was all about this topic thank you